Uh, uh, this is the eat, story of the newest denizen of the cave. Eat Pant Rick claimed to have 10,000 hours in the Binding of Isaac. And claimed to only not have more hours in the Binding of Isaac because he accidentally erased his game file. That Rick's game, I, I was graced by the greatest Binding of Isaac player of all time. Rick was here to coach me for free and I ran, I ran him off. I ran off the single greatest resource a Binding of Isaac player could ever hope for. I deserve the many failures that will be visited upon me in my precipitous fall from the lofty heights of Twitch relevance. Jugsy, tier one, seven months. Good morning, Taffy and Chad. Good morning, Jugsy. Happy to have you here. I, I truly don't feel as melancholy as I sound, but from the dizzying highs and stress of the subathon into all the things I'm trying to help Amber get squared away before I go to Kentucky and then have this kind of plopped in the middle. And I was telling Justin, like, the stress... I was telling Justin yesterday that the stress of the subathon really wasn't the performance or even the sleeping on camera. The stress that really got me during the subathon was like trying to play Gardic Foam with Northern Lion on a on a laptop with a broken mouse. And realizing that like if I did poorly it would reflect badly on the channel and not the fact that I was in a Guantanamo Bay holding cell with a broken Logitech 502 on a laptop that was not built to stream games. And I was a little bit freaked out about that, and now I get to replicate that for an entire week in Kentucky where I'm gonna have to get up at 6.30 in the morning. Like, I'm genuinely just gonna have to look people dead in the eye at like 10, 11 o'clock at night, and they're gonna be like, listen, we got this really fun thing set up that's gonna go from like nine to, to midnight, and I'm gonna be like, I gotta get up at 6.30 to start my stream by 7.30 to keep my normal hours on, uh, on, on hardware that is not mine. So I'm going through all that stress with uh, like a haircut, a presidential election, and then- Oh, good you, Stanley. Flaunting your disposable income with that donation to Taffy. Thank you, Glitch. I might, I might do, man. I, like genuinely, I might, I might, I might comfort food it up. My fat ass is not getting skinny. That's another thing that's kind of bothered me a little bit is that I was doing really well before the subathon started, with like healthy eating habits, healthy sleeping habits, uh, going to the gym. But then the subathon hit, and that took all, all my effort and energy. And now I'm going to be in Kentucky for a week, and when I get back, I almost immediately jump into uh, the vasectomy. Which, it, which means I basically can't try to get back into that routine until December. Yeah, the guy who played so much, the guy who played so much Binding of Isaac that he called the previous version of this re Reborn was here to tell me how to run my channel. And then when I told him I was one of the top thousand Isaac streamers, or sorry, one of the top thousand Twitch streamers on the planet, with regards to earnings in the last two years that I probably didn't need his advice as a new viewer. He was like, yo, listen, bro. Look at you, I'm not Stanley. looking to fight. Flaunting your disposable income with that donation to Taffy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel pity tips coming. And I just want to clear the air on some of these things. I just can't do it in the middle of this fight. Listen, fam. I appreciate your pity tips, but I just want to make sure they're showing up for the right reasons. I feel the very very same way I felt before St. Jude. And Salty, thank you for the five. I feel the same way that I felt before St. Jude where I don't know what to expect. I've never fundraised for them before. I've never played with them before for the most part. Um, and I'm trying not to be like doubtful about it, but it, you know, I, I don't want to show up and again, I don't want to over promise and under deliver, right? Oh, Taffy's gonna show up and he straight up guarantees that his chat's gonna deliver. I don't even know what the charity is. I know it has something to do with kids, <laughs> but I, like, I don't even know what the charity is. I just know, I know the event and the credibility of the event and the reputation of the event and the people involved. And I wanna go check it out. And, and St. Jude was the same way. I didn't know anything about St. Jude the first time I went there. 
I didn't know anything about St. Jude the first time I went there. I went because I knew how cool it looked in social media posts. And then I got there and had my heart m moved by the stories that they told. But the first time I went to St. Jude, I had never raised a dollar for them. So I just kind of was quiet and I sat off to the side in case I got there and I was like, mm, ch charity streaming just doesn't feel like it suits me. I'm just gonna quietly slip back on my flight back to Virginia and just never speak of this again. It was an option for me, but I feel the, like kind of the same way here where I would be shocked if it didn't resonate with me on some level, knowing what I know about myself now. But at the same time, like, I have no idea what I'm getting into. I just know that it sounded like a good opportunity, so I'm going. Smile Girl, good morning. Joda Nikki, my WoW guild has collapsed. I can't win this year, but at least I have Taffy. You'll have to drag my dead ass out of this chair. Or a better opportunity comes along. I, like, my litmus, I was talking with Nate about this last night. My litmus test for whether or not I'd ever consider not streaming is, can I think of anything else I'd rather do? And as long as the answer is no, I will be in this chair. Phil, get the fuck out of here. I'm at 200 pounds. Dude, I'm at two, uh, well, 240-something. I'm in the 240s. I'd have to lose my, I'd have to amputate my leg at the thigh to get on the same level as you. Well, I'm all the way up to 200 pounds. My mustache weighs a buck 50. Gonna, gonna, gonna make me try, try, try to commiserate with me. That's the weight equivalent of Reg coming to me and saying like, man, I've suffered some racial profiling. Every time I get pulled over, man, I'm just concerned about how things are going to turn out for me. And I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, man. The other day I went to the liquor store to buy whiskey and the girl didn't even card me. You know how bad I felt? I felt so old. I felt so old and, and, and discriminated against. <laughs> it was a real bummer. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling with weight. It's really getting me down. Yeah, man, I know what you're talking about. I'm 50 pounds lighter than you and really struggling with weight. I know your height, motherfucker. We went to the same church. You and I are virtually the same height. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm giving you a hard time. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> Because I know you can take it. <laughs> Shit, but it's funny though. Yeah, man, Reg, I feel that. I feel that. The other day I was like, hey, do you need my card for ID? And she was just like, nah. This is actually a true story. I went to buy bourbon. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I tackle this. I went to buy bourbon a couple of years ago and the lady at the, the liquor store was just kind of standing there doing her thing. And I said, hey, do you need to see my ID? And she said, no, the receding hairline tells me plenty. This is before the age of math, or this was before the age of masks. So she could see my whole ass face, you know? But she, de she dead ass looked me in the face. She dead ass looked me in the face and I said, hey, do you need to see my ID for that? And she said, no, nah, your hairline tells me plenty. I've never been back to that ABC store since. I haven't been back to that ABC store since. That 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 one that one stung me a little. Fucking bazinga. Got him. <clears throat> Speaking of your state, what the fuck Taffy, how'd you let that nutsack win? I voted. Amber voted. We were talking about this earlier, man. Americans would rather see would rather see kind of bad shit happen than nothing happen at all. Um Can I just abyss them both? I only get the one item for it, but yeah, neither one of those. I guess Stompy would have been okay. It would have gotten me a crawl space here or there, but <gasps> maybe would have gotten me some money out of pots. Maybe would have gotten me black hearts or coins, but man, it would have made me so slow and like honestly Honestly, to a certain extent, speed is king in New Isaac. 
And that, I mean, that's really that's what it feels like, Abs, is that um, Americans despise inactivity, so they'll vote for people... God damn. They'll vote for people who are going to do borderline evil shit before they'll let people stay in power who aren't getting anything done at all. Amber, Amber said that she was listening to a uh, coverage and it said that um, they were saying that they were looking at exit polling here in Virginia and what happened was that the group that really seems to have swung this election was white women. Um, but it turns out that like college educated white women turned out in record numbers and, and generally went blue. But high, like, high, uh, high school diploma educated white women turned out in even higher record numbers and, and went conservative because they, like the, 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 the Republican party pushed this narrative that if you voted Democrat if you voted Democrat that Terry McAuliffe was not going to eliminate the grocery tax, which is like a couple hundred dollars a year to people. And I don't know what that funds. That's the thing that cracks me up is that Amber and I were saying, wouldn't it be ironic if getting rid of the grocery tax like eliminated a major source of funding for schools? No idea what that tax funds. But also if you if you vote for Terry McAuliffe, your 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 first grader is gonna get critical race theory shoved down his throat. And that that scared that scared and galvanized them enough that they the you know the the western two-thirds of the state that's ruby red turned out in droves all all of those all of those like republican county uh n like nascar area moms showed up Essentially, an, ar an, an, an yeah, basically, an army of Karens manifested itself. Oh my god. An army of Karens manifested itself in, in literal record numbers. They also, the, Repub the Republicans in battleground states also picked up a blueprint for how you deal with Donald Trump. In that, um... In that they knew that to have him, like, come campaign would be suicide like they they knew they knew that if they had trump show up that also explains why i didn't get up this morning i never reset my alarm i was like oh it's awfully awfully quiet so what they did was instead of having him campaign they kept him at arm's length never really mentioned him except for when people asked youngkin directly like, when people asked Youngkin directly, like, hey, so Donald Trump endorsed you, what do you say about that? He was like, oh, well, I'm super happy to have received that endorsement. But otherwise, they kept him away. At the very last minute, he did, like, a telephone rally. He wasn't allowed to come to the... Like, they didn't let him come to the state. He did, like, a little telephone rally where he got people who wanted to hear from him so that they knew Youngkin was on their side. Trump got in a little telephone rally with people and called and was like, hey, you gotta vote for Glenn Youngkin. He's gonna do great things for Virginia. And so the Trump supporters were like, yeah, Trump says vote, but he wasn't around at all during during the campaigning process. So the people who were, were like moderates that could swing either way that would have been scared by him didn't see him. And that in battleground states where you're worried about like Trump costing you the election, but you think you can win as a Republican, they've got a blueprint now for how to do it. Where it's like, yeah, let him call, let him do video conferencing, let him do telephone calls just don't get him on the campaign trail and that'll be that'll be enough separation for people who were he wasn't doing that to get his you know to get his dick sucked but uh woe be it to the individual who was going to go up there and tell him that the integrity of the event was compromised because of this dude's lack of principles or or even worse negligence my, 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 my tree trunk of an older gentleman was not having it. Yeah, that dude, uh, that, that dude, uh, was taking pride in a job that he was doing well. 
and the insinuation he, he was not going to wilt under the insinuation that he was at the very least criminally negligent and at the very worst involved in some sort of anti like anti-patriotic con conspiracy This period of human history is a lot to live through. Uh. Right, Nom Nom Freshman. <coughs> a, lot, a lot of what I've seen in that regard feels like projection. It, it feels like, you know, when, 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 you, when you've got like folks who are just like, well, obviously if we lost the election, because right, right now there's a part of me that's like, wait, so we lost an election, like my, the, I say my side, it's not the, the side I like the most out of the two that I dislike a lot. The, the side that I'm most tolerant of lost an election, so where do I sign up to create baseless conspiracy theories and then potentially storm the capital in an attempt to launch uh, World War, or, 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 or Civil War Part Two? That's what you're supposed to do now, right? Right? Like, now you go and you say, well, clearly the election was rigged. Clearly there's foul play afoot. Because ultimately, yeah, these same people, these same people who are just like, oh man, you can't, you can't trust the results of the election. Why, when faced with losing, these people will do nefarious things. And I think it's ultimately because in their heads they go, what do we got to do to get this, this motherfucker is the back? Of the newest I'll Denizen do anything, and I mean anything. Don't blame me, I voted for Kodos. Case Troop Tier 1, 23 months, at least you weren't in Dallas waiting for JFK Jr. to rise from the dead. Oh. How in the world could we live in such an enlightened technological age? And still be so fucking stupid, man. That's actually pretty good. I'll take Burnt Penny. The cross, the cross is not bad, but like, it just, uh, you know. It's a tainted character. I plan on getting hit far more than once per floor. I wouldn't mind being able to bomb into secret rooms and second secret rooms pretty with, with regularity, you know. Honestly, just bring on the giant asteroid. It's... It's it's hard not to feel a little Bond villainy, like to feel a little Bond villain esque against the entirety of humanity. Oh, you just want to get one side or the other, and I'm like, nah, I kind of would just do away with it all if I'm, if I'm being honest. It's not. It, it feels like we're just not gonna figure this out. So let's just expedite. Let's go. Let's jump to the end of the book. The, the yeah the. The human experiment may have failed. Ugh. Yeah, too forgetful. There's definitely something to be said about the fact that when I was a kid, man, there wasn't a platform. If you were, if you were a crazy person in the woods, if you were Ted Kaczynski, if you were the fucking Unabomber, nobody knew who you were or what you stood for until after you did some real legitimate shit like sending, you know, bombs and anthrax to universities and whatnot. That was the only way that, and even then, I still couldn't really tell you what Ted Kaczynski st stood for. No, no, no real clue. I just know what he did. I also need a key, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. <clears throat> that used to be the only way that these people would get any sort of attention. But now the internet exists. And it provides these people a platform not just to speak their mind, but to find each other. That we have flat earthers in an age of commercial space travel blows my gourd. I can't move. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. This fallen, this fallen fight really kicked my ass yesterday. Hey, I'll, I'll take Gimpy. It's fine. That's a good one.
<laughs> Tecumseh found the easiest way to deal with insurrectionists. I'd love to see, I'd, I'd love to see the dim show that much backbone. Somebody, oh God, what was it? Hold on. There's a, there's an RVA subreddit. Let, let, let me let, let me show you like for a purple state it's a pretty it's a it's a pretty um polarized it's a pretty polarized uh purple state like the the reds are very red and the blues are very blue uh let's see copy link address is that correct yeah there you go chat that there there there's what a lot of the red looks like in Virginia <sighs> I might save this until I'm in a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel on the off chance this ends up uh, on the off chance this ends up on like YouTube there you go that's that's fun. On an Audi, no less. On an Audi. <laughs> on an on an Audi chat. <laughs> that person's clearly being oppressed. This is not an America where that person can get ahead. This America has one foot on that Audi owner's throat. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <sighs> oh, God. This America is rigged against Audi, man. Larry, I wish you hadn't hurt me like that. God, even the tainted characters I enjoy are kind of a huge struggle, man. I <laughs> need to burn it down, <laughs> intensifies. Holy shit, right? Ugh. A person driving an Audi talking about how the United States is rigged against them. Ted Kaczynski, however you spell it, was against technology. The irony of this conversation. Uh, he thought it was going to destroy the world, and with what's happening now, he may not have even been wrong. Yeah, who would have thought that, that modern, the, the modern day world would paint Ted Kaczynski in a favorable light. I'm tired, chat. Guillotine's a French word, but fire is very American. I dare say there's very little, like listen, explosive fire, even more so. I'd, you know, there, there may be an argument to be had uh, for uh, was it Guy Fox, but explosive fire does feel very, you know, the Chinese may have something to say about explosive fire, but explosive fire does feel very American. Oh. Anytime. Gonna need keys. I know I feel like I say this all the time. Thanks in no small part to Guppy almost every time. I am going to need keys in the not so distant future. Jesus Christ. You dead? Nope. Until we get some tears and damage upgrades, which are, you know, hard to come by in repentance. Until we get tears and damage upgrades, we're just kind of stuck whittling stuff away with our with our bombs from a distance. Or sorry, with our flies from a distance. Time of V hopes all of you beautiful souls are safe and well. Safe, I guess. 
I don't know about well. I don't feel well. I haven't felt well in a while. I am gonna go back and get that key never you fret. Don't get it twisted, he was super leftist, uh, anti-leftist anything. He was pretty clearly an anarchist in the classical definition who believed technology, industry, and society would destroy humanity. Yeah, I mean, you know. I genuinely am not sitting, uh, like, tongue, tongue in cheek. Okay. I missed all of them. I'm literally just gonna use bombs to soften them up. I just want to get into the shop. God, this is with a tears upgrade, you know? I love that it should, I love that Guppy's eye, like, gu li listen, credit where it's due, Guppy's eye is pretty great. What is this new, what does this new trinket do? I forget. Decent chance it deals with the devil, costs money instead of health. I'm all right. But I do love the fact that I get a little heads up about, I get a little heads up about uh, that live bomb being in there. I might take that speed upgrade. Like, I'll definitely take that speed upgrade if I can. I do want to finally see... Ooh, do I, though? Hold on. I'd rather see what's inside the planetarium. Hmm, that's tempting. I will say this, though. Uh... Guppy's eye is saving me from spending keys on shitty chests. And health on shitty chests. Which one are you? Luna, more secrets. That's great. Yeah, I'll take it. I get another secret room and a tears upgrade every time I go in one. I have an idea as long as I'm standing here. Yeah. Strength. Kind of fucking with my pathing here, fellas. Pop the pleasant present in planetarium. I could Darth Shield if I was still in my honeymoon phase with the planetarium items. But a bunch of planetarium items are just straight up bad. I mean, that's not to say that like Angel Room items aren't. But like, let's identify what my ideal Angel Angel Room item would be here before we spend our resource on it. The speed up one that opens all the doors, maybe. It does make the latter parts of the game easier. What if I get like Mars, which is the one where if I double tap, it, you know, it makes me sprint across the screen, but I play with mouse and keyboard, so... I play with mouse and keyboard, so it's like, I, you know, I don't know. Soul shows the map once we get to the boss room. Luna. <clears throat> Mercurius is great. Venus is an H HP upgrade. Terra's pretty good. My tears become rocks. Mars sucks. Like Mars and Mars and Venus would be bad. Jupiter is an HP upgrade and a lot of farting. Saturnus just puts rings a ring of tears around us. Uranus is ice tears. That's pretty good. Neptunus is pretty good. Pluto is pretty good. 
Yeah, you know what? I, I, I don't know, Dark Shield, I'm not shitting on you. If you have an idea and it goes against what I think is the right call, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to sit there and break it down to see whether or not it has merit. And I think this one, now that we've done kind of our due diligence on it, has merit. Which one did we get? Is that good? Saturnus, like we, real, real break even. It's not bad considering the fact that our tears are pretty terrible right now. So while we're sitting there recharging our tears, at the very least, we've got some damage that's being done around us. But like, you know, uh, like, like I said, kind of to a certain extent, the honeymoon period that I feel, the honeymoon period that I feel with the planetarium items has kind of ended. I, I feel about them the same way I feel about just about every other item, item source in the game. Like, obviously with Repentance, Angel Room stuff got better, but... I think that separated out. What is going on? Okay, fine. Fuck you. Hold on. Yeah, like, Saturnus, it, 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 it's firmly at the bottom of the middle third of what I would have accepted there. But it's not in the bottom third, you know? It was certainly not the worst option by a damn sight. I don't know why I couldn't separate those hearts out, but... I keep waiting for Gimpy to play out. Yeah, that's true. Saturnus does also occasionally catch enemy tears. So in that way, it's offensive and defensive simultaneously. It's just unsexy. And that's okay. Dude, please. Can I play, play for keys, I guess? It's not bad. It's unsexy, but it, it is, it is u utilitarian. I'll take health. I am, I am at a point now where I'm taking pills as well. I've accepted the pills are on the menu. Alexa, be quiet. That undoes the range upgrade that we got. I'll bomb it if I have to, but I'd prefer not to. I can't tell where our secret room... Oh, the secret rooms are... I've already been to it. I'm so silly. I wonder if... I wonder if that secret... Oh, Jesus. I wonder if this if the secret room that we have now... I wonder if the secret room we have now has the, has the effects in it. Or has the Luna effect in it. Let's just do this. What? Oh god, it's the wrong one. 64-bit robot, what's going on? It doesn't. I was hoping it would. I would rather have the tiers upgrade over whatever the hell's in the item room. Like a random item room item, for sure. I don't feel like I've played recklessly with my keys, but man, so, so is the gambit you run with Guppy's tail. So what you're saying is the pills are pretty good, huh? Way to tick. Way to tick. Don't take the money. Just take the items for now. Get to run some tests. That's so cool. What a good, what a good trinket. No, it's just this trinket. This trinket's doing it. I, I'll hurt myself if I do it this way. Sitting here talking about not having any keys, then all of a sudden all these bombs show up to help us out. I don't know if there's anything else in there. There's not, but we get our bomb back, so it was worth looking, you know. I might not be able to get rid of this trinket. Mm, well, hold on. 
This is gonna like, surprise, surprise, chat. This floor is gonna take a really long time. You're gonna be shocked to hear. You're gonna be shocked to hear that we have to be min maxi as hell in order to create necessary advantages in this game. Absolutely stunned, I'm sure. Aaron, what's going on, brother? Let's stop picking up coins. This is what happens when we linger. Do you see, Larry? Do you see what happens when you take a long, when you linger on the floor? Do you see what happens, Larry? When you linger on the floor, you're killing your father, Larry. Do you see what happens when you linger on the floor, Larry? Oh, it's so much better already. <clears throat> Do you see what happens when you meet a stranger in the Alps, Larry? Hmm. The pills have been really good so far. Could be good if I find a halfway decent space bar item. I'll probably leave here with the broken padlock if I'm being honest. If I can if I can load up on bombs before I go. I kind of want to see if I can find the second secret room as well. I guess I'll grab that speed upgrade from the shop. God, I wish one of those pills had been gulped. That'd have been so, so good. Would have been so, so good. Yeah, I was sitting, I was literally just sitting here daydreaming about gulping one of these trinkets for sure. I kind of don't want to spend too many bombs now if, I, if we're going to leave the burnt penny behind. Then I kind of am going to count on the synergy between... Neat. Fuck you! I'm gonna kind of count on the synergy between Guppy's eye. I'm gonna count on the synergy between Guppy's eye and uh, the broken padlock. Are there coins in the item room? I'll go back and get them. I'm gonna leave Dono Chan alone though. That's about as much as I really wanted. And then I wanted to play out this blood bank just the teensiest bit. Thank you. 100% would have left those behind. Do we know what the pill in the shop is? Uh, not really. Shit, hold on. Could be gulp. When you write, you write. It was honest with us for what it's worth. You see what happens, Larry? Do you see what happens, Larry, when you linger on the floor? Do you see what happens, Larry? I think stuff like this is why I've gotten better at logic puzzles in like horror games. 
Like gen genuinely, no joke, no punchline. I, I think un unpacking Isaac to make the game work when it clearly doesn't want to is part of the reason I've gotten better at puzzle games and horror. I'll do one more on the right hand side, otherwise I'm leaving him alone. Lemon party. I'll do lemon party in the boss fight. I'll get out of here. Guppy would be pretty sweet. I'm not gonna turn down Succubus. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Well, lock in deals with the devil as well, which is totally fine at this point. Yeah, it's pretty good. Min maxing Isaac floors is basically a logic puzzle. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's how I've learned to start thinking about it for sure. That's how I've learned to start thinking about it. I had zero desire to sit there and like realistically do that do that room. Let's go just see what's going on with our secret room for now. Oh, it's an XL floor. Great. I was just thinking to myself that I'd had it entirely too easy. Then I should probably try to lose a deal with the devil. That's a key. Go get him, sucky. That is infinite bombs. We get to open all the doors and chests. Ironically, now that I have keys, I haven't seen any golden chests. I have to remind myself, I have to remind myself uh, that we can't leave here without the fool card or else this is all for nothing. I have made my job harder. Yeah, flight would be nice. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, no. Maybe. I wonder if I can get across there. Can I get across there? I can get across there, right? Yeah. That's fun. We just unlocked that on here. We just unlocked that on this file. Shit, I thought I had I had a gut feeling he was gonna pay out. Um uh, I mean eventually. I'm kinda curious what the chaos I mean like I can't I can't take it with me, but if I get some way to carry two cards, I'm kinda curious what the chaos chaos card would do to dogma. Don't leave the floor without the fool card. Don't leave the floor without the fool card. Don't leave. Yeah. Don't leave the floor without the fool card. I, it's literally just saying to myself, like I can't, I can't take the chaos card with me unless I find some way to carry more than one card. Kill him probably. You'd think that. I don't think it kills delirium. You know what I mean? Like that. That seems like the reasonable thing to expect. But if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't kill delirium.
Oh, I can take it after teleporting out of mom. You're absolutely right. I didn't even think about it that way. There's a huge tears upgrade. It's gonna make my life much easier. This is the story of the newest denizen. Of oh shit, I was looking at Amber. What have you done? <laughs> Amber, tier 138 months. Thanks to JJ Madison for the gifted sub. Amber, thank, thank you so much. Welcome back. I'm, I'm fucking around. I mean, like, I did, I, get, I got hit looking at you, but I don't think it's going to make a big deal. I don't think it's going to be a problem. This run's starting to get to a place where even I can't fuck it up. And thank you, JJ Madison, for the gifted sub. Wherever you are. Yeah, I definitely imagine it would kill one of the horsemen. I just don't know if it would kill one of the phases. It might kill one of the phases of Dogma. Oh, uh, sorry, of, uh... I mean, it might also kill one of the phases of Dogma, but I think it'll also kill one of the phases of, um... Oops. I think it'll also kill one of the phases of, um... The Beast. Another planetarium, you say? Oh, I shouldn't have spent that. That's Mars. I don't want that. That's the one I like the least. Yeah, I can't do that. It would drive me insane. I have no idea why I got two. If it makes you feel any better, it's not it's it's not one I wanted. What does it do? Uh, if you double tap your movement key, it makes you dash. Which I think is better if you're on controller. Which I think is better if you're on controller. I am not on controller. So it's problematic for me. I sit here and like fl flitter my little fingies across the, the keys of the keyboard. I sit here and flitter my fingers across the keys of the keyboard, so I end up accidentally dashing all the time. Nifty Spin says, I play on controller and I skip that item. It just, uh, it, it, it fucks up my pathing, it fucks up my rhythm. I, I, I find it to be, um, on the whole, I find it to be, uh, more detrimental than helpful. Eat Mars of the Abyss, you're absolutely right, though. I should 100% do that. There we go. I forget that that's even an option after a little while. There's too much shit going on with too many different characters. Uh. Bad gas! Uh. 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 Ooh, range down is tempting. Uh. Pay out. Uh, hold on. Oh, there's that. Yeah, I sit, I sit here thinking to myself, I don't have an active item, which is all all that's kind of playing out through my head right now. I don't have an active item over and over and over again. Will telepills work for mom? It sure will, as long as it takes me to the right place. Sorry, Chad. Am I, though? I, I'm, I'm sorry for now, Chad. Oh, okay. Well, there's that one. Why would you spend keys, you dimwit? I feel like that's a good trinket. I feel like I've also forgotten what that trinket does. High chance to give you the effect of a random mom item every room. That's a very good trinket. Especially early game. 
I don't know that it's so great for us now. Especially when we're still trying to get, like, more payouts out of Guppy's tail. A key might be worth it. A key is almost definitely worth it. Kind of content just to go on this guy. What a stubborn little shithead he is. Please. I'm listening. I can make that work. Got it, by the way. We know where it is. We know where it is when we want it. Is there a battery in the shop? I'm trying to figure out if I want to take. I'm trying to figure out if I want to take the red key with me. Do I want to take the red key with me? Isn't there a second secret room somewhere? Or if I wanted to, to do these floors over again. Because if I do these, if I take the I can see forever pill on this floor, there's a chance I get two depths floors. I get depths one and depths two. Or I take the red key and I just keep looking for awesome, like awesome secret rooms. It's not there, it's not there, it's not there. There. There's one. Okay, what's going on? Welcome. I'm trying to figure out what the best play is here. The red key is super time consuming, but who gives a shit? It's Isaac. And do whatever I can to kill off the the obliged time I owe. Misty Tavi, hope you're well. Did you finish those candy already? No, there's like, essentially imagine two suitcases downstairs. It's like a suitcase and a half of candy downstairs, <coughs> and it's good. And I'm I'm picking at it a little bit, but like I'm I'm certainly not putting it back. I'm certainly not putting it back in a way that's making any appreciable dent. If I'm being, if I'm being completely honest with you, I've already, no, I haven't been to the second secret room. I'm going to go find it. If I'm being completely honest with you, I've had so much candy in my house for so long that it's, it's made me not really excited at the prospect of eating candy. Like, there's just been, there's been too much offered to me. I've had too, too, too much candy in front of me for too long. I've been desensitized to it. It's like no longer alluring to me. All I can think about if I eat this candy is like how bad, like how bad my stomach's gonna feel. 
and how, like, uh, ungratifying it'll ultimately end up feeling. Yeah, I did the exact same thing with rice pudding. Rice pudding sounded really, really good. And then I got pounds and pounds of it. Uh, and then all of a sudden rice pudding didn't sound so good anymore. Rice pudding's awesome. Rice pudding's less good when you've got to eat like five pounds of it in a month or else it'll go bad and you'll have to throw it away. And the inner monologue inside you that ab abhors wasting food freaks out. And so you're just like, I don't care that you're tired of rice pudding. You have to eat it until you're sick because you're not throwing rice pudding away. I think that, so, like, with some with some of my leftover candy, uh, we've, we've given it to the school to stock the teacher's lounge. Some of it I'm going to take with me to Minecraft and just leave at the house for people to snack on. And then, uh, Amber and I were thinking about taking some to first responders or something. Just being like, hey, we've got full-size candy bars. Would you guys like these and just leave them with, like, first responders? Just a reminder to mail me a little. Can I just give you some money and you can go buy some candy? I feel like it's going to cost me as much money to ship you candy as it'll cost me to just give you money to buy candy. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, these boxes are heavy. Some of these places on Amazon are fucking FedExing them to me. I know you gave me five bucks. Can I give you ten and you just go buy whatever candy bar sounds good to you? I said... If you lived in the same city as me and I was just going to walk it down the road, that would be... That would be pretty straightforward, I think, but like... The idea of going to FedEx and pulling together a $15 package of Snickers or whatever to send to, to Indiana. I'd rather just give you $15. <laughs> the other stuff is just us like driving it around, dr driving it around Richmond and dropping it off places while we run other errands. How do you eat any meat if you don't eat your rice pudding? Uh, shit. Man, I'm real conflicted here. I'm not real conflicted. Here's what I'm gonna do. For simplicity's sake. sake. Sleep. Received candy equals guilt-free. Being given money and then using it to buy candy for to treat oneself equals guilt. Maybe. I kind of get that. Like I have a, I have a brand new tent that I can't wait to throw up in the backyard that I would not have purchased for myself. I don't think, but you know, Champion bought it for me, so I'm just like, ah, guilt-free. That's more about that. More has to do with money, though. I don't know. Like, there's a part of me. There's a part of me that kind of goes. There's a part of me that kind of goes. Champion gave me nine grand to buy a pinball machine. And for the briefest of minutes, there's a part of me that goes, you could use that nine grand to do almost anything else that's important in your life. Am I on depths one? Yeah, I'm on depths one. Look at that. I don't even remember if these are good or bad pills, but we know what all of them do now. But it's fleeting. For, to like it, it's a it's a fleeting why am I why why are you spending stop spending keys you dullard it's a fleeting thought that I have because ultimately you know keep, keeping the money and not spending it on the mean thing is not in the spirit of the arrangement so it, it goes away pretty quick in my head I just rationalize it as in my head I just rationalize it as Champion sent me a pinball machine. He sent it to me in gift certificate form. But Champion sent me a pinball machine. Oh, I didn't mean to blow that up, if I'm being honest. Oh, well. <clears throat> Is it time to engage in a little chaos? 
Maybe I should try to get the deal with the devil on this floor first and then engage in chaos. Strikes me as being okay. Have you actually gotten the pinball machine? No. I'll tell you why. We're still waiting. Like, we thought we... We want to... We, we've narrowed it down to two. We've narrowed it down to two. It's either going to be the Mandalorian or Deadpool. I'm voting. I'm voting. It's that's Dutch for voting. I'm voting for Deadpool. Rory's voting for Deadpool. Amber and Grayson are both vo voting for the Mandalorian. And for the sake of familial cohesion, I am not just pulling rank and saying my dream, my my high roller, my pinball machine. Because that seems like a real fast way to not get laid for like three months. Um, so the way that we're going to tie break this is that we're trying to find... We're trying to find... I know, I know where to play... Gross. I know where to play the, the Mandalorian machine. I can find that in a couple of spots in Richmond. But I'm struggling to find a location for the Deadpool machine anywhere in with within like a 20 minute driving range. I, I will at some point when it's when it's when I know it's safe to take the boys somewhere, they should be, you know, getting lined up to get their shots lickety split right now. But as soon as the boys have like a shot in them, I want them to I want us to all play both machines and then decide which one is better based on the merit of how they played. And if the, if Amber and Grayson still say the Mandalorian over Deadpool based on how the game plays and how, they, how much they enjoy actually playing it, then I'll probably go with the Mandalorian. Because uh, it's still a very good table. I just, you know, I think Deadpool would be better for like the couple of times I create content with it, but... The last thing I want to do is sow discord in my family over what's supposed to be a happy occasion, you know? So you get them both. Chat, listen, I've asked you for a lot of things, but if I want to get both pinball machines, you either need to get me a retail space where I start keeping my pinball machines, or I need a larger house. With like a garage or a basement. I've already been in the second secret room, why am I so silly? What did I leave behind? Oh, chaos. Chaos. Left behind old Cheos. We can deal with that after. We. Wow, just like that, we're on to break number two, huh? Yeah, only because I don't have an item. And now, and now we go chaos. Why not just build a basement? We're we're on a slab. I don't I don't know how to build a basement on an uh, under an existing house. And I I have to assume that so many houses in the neighborhood are on a slab because I think it's kind of like I think it's I think this area once you get down below a couple of feet is very swampy. I think like that that strikes me as being part of the reason. That they seem to be worse, like, that, that so many places in the neighborhood... So many places in the neighborhood seem to be built on slabs, and I think it's just because we're on very, very sandy, very silty, very wet, swampy ground. Which is also part of the reason, I think, why it's so difficult to grow grass here. It's a lot of extra... It's a lot... It's... A, I, so much extra work I'm thinking about not having grass on my yard I don't know what like maybe clover instead but uh, yeah it, it seems to be a tremendous pain in the balls and expensive to get grass to grow in this sandy ass soil uh, so I might just end up just want to make sure I'm doing everything right here I might just end up um, growing like clover or something <laughs> that swamp was drained then Mexico paid for the wall A retail space? Dead Space has one. Dead, Dead Space. Dead Flip has one. I mean, it's a usable outdoor space when the weather's nice. And, and once it's... Uh... Huh. 
once it's plausible to bring people over again, it'll be nice to, like, entertain. What if I kill him? Easy. Easy. I was hoping I'd get an item out of that, but... Um... Yeah, I don't know. There, there's a part of me that, like... You, uh, the, the incredibly... The incredibly nitpicky part of me that's just like, Oh man, if I could get one more room out of this house... Be that a garage... Be it a garage, or be it a multi-purpose room, or, or a guest room, or whatever. If I could get one more room out of this house... But that's like, again, that's just insanely nitpicky. It's, it's hard sometimes not to look at the pergola and think of it that way. My gal and I are celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary tomorrow. That's awesome. Our fifth anniversary tomorrow. I don't have an H I don't have an HOA, so I'm like, listen, if, if I get any more convinced that my potential standing with my neighbors is bad, then I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I might just build it out of plywood in the middle of the street. Um, yeah, it's, it, <clears throat> it's, it's tough not to look at the pergola and be like, I can just build another room in the backyard and then just set the pergola on top of that. Amber has let me know that the boys are scheduled for their COVID shot, so that's pretty exciting. A year and a half later. A year and a half later. Some some of it had some of it may be helicopter parenting. Some of it may have been overkill. But I know that a lot of people say, like, oh well, you know, this this only negative negatively affects a small number of children. And my response to it is, well, I've only got a small number of children. Uh, you know, I'm not like a little house on the prairie family where I've got nine just in case two or three succumb to the diphtheria and one one gets taken by the Apache. I've only got two, you know? I'm playing it awfully close to the chest. So yeah, the last year and a half, I may have engaged in a little bit of overkill, but you know what? I 100%. Well, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx it, but as far as my efforts go, I I have done everything in my power to make sure I exit this pandemic with as many children as I went in. I don't even know that I need this payout. I'm mostly just doing this for for cashish. Do you think the pandemic's over already? No. No. I mean, I, I... I hope that the worst is behind us, but I felt like the worst was behind us. Fucking get in here. I thought the worst was behind us before the Delta variant shows up, so who knows? I'm just... I'm, you know... Play, play, playing it as safe as humanly possible on, on the sadly... On the sadly potential chance the history repeats itself and it mutates. I would love Parasitoid. Parasitoid's one of my favorite items in the game. What was in here? Oh my god. Uh... I should like Parasitoid, please. I maybe should have left with Krampus' head, but... I'm never really going to use it. I, n I never remember to use it. My neighbor flew his flag at half-mast when Rush died. My, my mom was genuinely disappointed that I'd celebrated that man passing. And I told her, I was just like, we're just going to have to agree to not see eye to eye on this one. I celebrate when evil is eradicated from the world. Russia and China are on lockdown again. Yeah, I mean, like, it's cyclical, you know? Like, it, it's never really, like, in the foreseeable future, it's never really just gonna go away, you know? 
we definitely could have mitigated it, mitigated it over the years. Literally, I guess at this point, literally the years. The year and a half. We, we could have definitely uh, tam tamped it way down for sure. But, I mean, you know, this is this would be like wishing chicken pox would go away. You know, chicken pox and polio and mumps and measles and rubella don't go away until people start, you know, vaccinating. And eliminating its opportunities to mutate and return upon us. Boo. But I'm not telling you guys anything you don't already know, you know? Ahem. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, honestly, the rapid that like more than anything, because I know I know that generally when I when when I talk to people who are just like, well, when I talk to people who are like, well, you know, it doesn't really negatively affect that many people, it, like like proportionately, you know, you're not gonna die from it or or whatever their take is, right? But the long the long term stuff, I don't want to say scares me more than death. I I don't necessarily believe there's anything on the other side of death, so I'm pretty scared of death. Um, but the lo the long term negative benefits scare the shit out of me. Uh, we'll just take them both, and we'll see which one it takes. The long term negative effects of that, uh, like the 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 long long haul COVID stuff, scares the shit out of me. The fool. Like, oh, we're going to permanently alter your sense of taste. We're going to permanently make it difficult for you uh, to draw one deep breath. All that jazz. What was it? There's a dude in, what, Wisconsin? A dude in Minnesota who was in the hospital for 11 months and lost eight toes? Like... That kind of stuff bothers me. That kind of stuff bothers me every bit as much as uh, as as like it ain't dying, but it ain't living the way I want to live either. Not dying and having good quality of life are not the exact same things. I, uh, like preaching to the choir, but you know what I mean. Like that's that's been my my rationale. Yeah, lose, losing the ability to salvage one deep breath and having memory issues has not been fun. Cannot recommend it, honestly, says Psycon. Right, that's a great jug says, it's scary to know that losing your sense of smell or taste is actually brain damage done to you by the disease. And there are millions of people who lost loved ones uh, to COVID and I want to fucking strangle anyone who says only 1% of people die and then they tell their family that only... Uh, po uh, and then tell their family that only 0.0002% of people get murdered by a stranger. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, a, a, a lot of those... Ooh, here we go. A lot of those people seem to, you know... There's, there's a lot of people who, who, once they heard they were the ones who would be in the clear... Once they heard that the, the odds were good that they'd be the ones in the clear if they got it, like, medically speaking got real cavalier with like, well, we just have to soldier on. This is like terrorism. We just can't let the virus think it won. We just have to go about our daily lives. Otherwise, the otherwise the virus terrorists win. Oh, I went too fast. Slow down, baby. You're moving too fast. Oh my God. Just, just run. You're so stupid. You're so stupid and mediocre. Color me intrigued. Okay, so my tears stay the same, but the Tech X part... Of Can I bomb into this? That'd be dope. Missed opportunity, Ed. Missed opportunity. Yeah, El, I mean, El Pablo says uh, people worry about the possible side effects of the vaccine, but the same side effects are much more likely if you catch the virus. I mean, that, that that's always been something that, like, that's been, uh, oh, okay. That's been the kind of th thing that we've argued with anti-vaxxers for literal years, you know, where it's just like, oh, well, what if, 
you know, what if somebody has a negative side effect? It's like, it's the same negative side effect you get from the virus. And the virus is much more willy-nilly with how it applies it to people. Oops. Well, those are technically keys. I don't know. I'm not telling you guys anything you don't like when I say I don't tell I'm not telling you I'm not telling you anything you don't already know about me and my take on it. I'm not sitting here. I, I'm, I'm I'm beyond the point of trying to win people over. Fuck. We got to linger on this floor a little bit. Oh, no, we can't linger on this floor. Yeah, there's just no good use for that. Because the moment we finish the, the beast fight and it registers, the death animation registers, it goes into a cutscene. Fuck. I could have found good uses for that R key during a in, in a in a different in a different situation. Yeah, what was it? It's uh, more people have died to COVID than have been killed by HIV AIDS. No, I can't beat the shit out of the dono machine. It uh, like I say, it hasn't done anything wrong. It knows what it did. But, like, the, the problem is with 99 cents, I'd just be doing it for the memes. And memes are fun. I like memes. But it would be prolonging this run for, like, kind of no good reason. Like, I can't think of a really solid reason to prolong this run. COVID can make your PP stop working. I still have some useful time left of mine and I want to keep it. Hmm. I got a nickel left in the secret room. I think I think I got there or I, I got there organically. I appreciate you looking out though. I should try to put some money back in the dono machine if I don't think I'm gonna try to milk the entire world for this R key. Although, first, I wouldn't mind getting an item here. I don't need health and I don't need speed. Speed. Damn, little horn, you scary. Flight would be cool. I had four sw swollen lymph nodes on my first vaccine side for four weeks. The one under my left nipple hurt a bit, but it's still worth. Yeah, yeah. I mean... I'm, I'm kind of, I, I won't lie to you, I'm a little bit awestruck that I see, uh, you know, polling that says only a third of people are going to give their young kids vaccines immediately. Bl blows my mind a little bit. I'm so eager to feel like we're, we as a family, like, e every time I get really depressed about the larger scope of things, I just narrow it down and look at, like, how are things with your family doing? Are you good? What are the things you can control? Is your family good? And I'm like, my family's good. And they're like, all right, bud. Then it's not the end of the world. You've done okay. Um, you know, you're, 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 I, 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 I narrow my cone of focus and I think to myself, like, what, what do you mean only a third of people are going to give the vaccine to their, like, to their five to 11 year olds? or five to 13 year olds or whatever. I just have to take a deep breath in and deep breath out and be like, you know what, if there's an outbreak, your kids will be, your kids will be protected and okay. And that's all you can really think about. Once it, once it starts to, once the, once the grand scale of things starts to be like maddeningly upsetting, you just scale it back and go, my, my kids are okay. And that's what I can control. My kids are not only okay, they're they're excited. 
My kids cannot wait to get the poke. They miss the. They miss. Uh, if we like, if we didn't care, if we didn't give it, like, if we didn't give a shit at all this whole time, their life wouldn't have changed. They'd have been going to minor league ball games and theme parks and movies. But my kids haven't been going to minor league ball games and theme parks and movies. They've been at home being careful and trying to combat the spread of a deadly disease like assholes do. Frankly, they're so sanctimonious, I hate them. Um, but, you know, we did everything in a way that makes me feel comfortable with how I, like, what I see when I look in the mirror. And so it was a harder, it was a harder road to hoe. But hoe it we did, and it looks like we're gonna come out the other side of this personally reasonably unscathed, with the exception of the fact that people in the neighborhood don't like me now, I guess. But whatever. Mr. 819 doesn't give a shit. Nate has started referring to 819 Taffy. <laughs> Nate has started referring to 819 Taffy as scoreboard Taffy. And he, he likes scoreboard Taffy very much. Oh yeah? Well, you know what? I don't like you. And then scoreboard Taffy goes... Scoreboard. <clears throat> I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm kind of a big deal now. <laughs> Fucking, like, Nate, Nate, Nate has done equal parts to boost my ego and to undercut me when I needed to be humbled and have a leg swept out from underneath me. Oh, okay. And Nate has said on numerous occasions that he, uh, he, 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 he likes scoreboard, scoreboard Taffy very much. Hi, baby. Hey, um, you need to go around the way right now, please. I'm more excited for you than I am for me, I but. Know, right? I'm freezing. Um, food? Uh, Glitch has made me promise to order something pleasant for myself. Great. So. Cool. Then I'll deal with workmen and you deal with Alright, you deal with workmen and I'll deal with food. You have to come say hello to people. Ryan, what's going on, dude? Hello, people. Hey, Ryan, Ryan from Made Monster is here. Hello. Many people are here. How many fucks in the neighborhood have had a fence play? So Nate, Nate and I were talking until 1 in the morning last night, which is why stream was 15 minutes late getting going this morning. Yeah. But it felt so good to just talk. Yeah. To just talk to someone. Like, Noah checks in, but it's all kind of a business checklist. It's, it's very rarely like a... Uh, and again with Noah, and this is, not a, this is not an indictment of Noah, but it's like, Hey man, how you doing? You okay, buddy? And I'm like, yeah, I guess. I just, it's, like, the subathon was a lot. This election's a lot. Going into the Minecraft event is a lot. And then I got the vasectomy right afterwards, and he's like, Oh, word, that's true. That's a lot. That's a, I, 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 have, I have cancer in my blood that's gonna kill me. But yeah, no, I can see how... <laughs> I can see how going to a mansion in Kentucky and then coming back and getting an operation so you could have unprotected sex would really bum you out. <laughs> yeah. You should have a whatchamacallit from the 650 candy bars that got sent to your house and maybe that'll help you muscle through. I love it! <laughs> so, anyway, I was talking to Nate I have to be careful. Did I already go? I already went down, so I can already I just take the black rune. I was talking to Nate and just kind of like parsing through life in general. And I said something about Mr. 819, and he started referring to Mr. 819 as scoreboard taffy. Right. Where it's just like, oh yeah, man, I think one of my neighbors don't like me. <laughs> Look at the fucking scoreboard. <laughs> Rick Astleyman thinks you should do things differently in your channel. <laughs> Fucking scoreboard. That Twitch Financial League is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. This is so validating. I'm so happy. I love you. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. What do you mean? What do you mean it's gone? How could you have spent our savings? Well, you see, Taffy and Justin had a subathon, Maggie. Damn, is a shot speed upgrade? That stinks. 819 has to be a shirt. What I want to get made? 
what I want to get made, Ryan, before I go to TwitchCon EU or... Are you okay, Isaac? Um... What I want to get made before I go to TwitchCon EU is a, uh... Before I go to TwitchCon EU or before I go to, to TwitchCon San Diego, I want, I want to get a, uh... A Squid Game participant jacket with 819 on the, on the chest piece and on the back. And then that's what I'll, that's just what I'll wear. That's what I'll wear around, uh, San Diego or Amsterdam. Eat Pant Rick doesn't like me, uh, Glitch drops money to say Eat Pant validation is both petty and profitable. I love it. I love, I love when we're, when we're petty and I make a dollar. It's my favorite kind of day to have. Can I get a flying squirrel's jersey with 819 on it and just McLaffy Tappy on the back? I'm willing to bet you that Parney would set me up with that. If you're not aware, Parney is the is is Parnell. Was it Mike Parnell? I want to say he's the GM of the Richmond Flying Squirrels. I feel like Parney would for the right amount of money would potentially set me up with that. Does somebody want to Google? Does somebody want to help me so I can finish this godforsaken run and, and and disturbed just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. And you're drunk again, aren't you? Shut up, Maggie. Shut up. You just keep One pushing second. me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave. We'll be fine I should stop you. using those. Abandon us like you've abandoned yourself. I should start using keys. Does anybody want to potentially Google authentic Richmond Flying Squirrels customized jerseys and see what's what? I have to imagine there's a way I can get an 819 on there. I wonder who I'd have to contact. I guarantee goddamn T and Noah knows the guy and would be thrilled to tell me about it. I could have sworn they had a jersey lettering booth when we went to the game. No shit for real. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of getting a uh, of getting an 819 squirrels jersey with taffy on the back. Because apparently apparently I can get apparently I can get the number 88 here because the number 8 means so much to us, but apparently I would be struggling to wrestle that away from white supremacists because they ruin everything. Also, hello, here for 10 minutes before I gym. Hell yeah, dude. Why don't you ask Noah and find out? Well, if Noah comes in here, I'm not going to stop stream to call Noah at 11.05 on a Wednesday morning. I, like, I, you know, listen, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spread falsehoods, but there's a, there's an outside chance that Noah's doing some kind of work right now. The odds are slim, but there's a chance that Noah's working. Yeah, I feel bad when people come into chat with an 88 and I gotta grill them on if they're 33 years old or a Nazi. <laughs> Fucking white supremacists, man. They're so lame. It's not just that their ideologies are horrible, but it's also just that they suck. It's just that they, they just suck. Their ideologies are horrible and they suck. What a fucking drag. This is the story of the newest denizen of the king. Yeah, Nom Nom Freshman, that wasn't something that I was in the know about either. I was sitting here gleefully saying like, oh, I should get a, I should get a, uh, uh, an 88 jersey for the Richmond Flying Squirrels with Montoya on the back. How great would that be? And people were like, the Nazi, the white supremacists took, you need to confess the white supremacists took 88 and, and I was saved. like, fuck. Let his light inside you cleanse your you soul. Oh, that's what it is. Same. Fuckers. Taking this too far. Can't you hear it on your sound? Pray with me. Pray for your Come. This is the story of the newest denizen so of the loud. Not, not like the notifications. Those are great when they're loud, but... 
What is this, a mega luck up till? Scream it, you motherfucker! Can't do anything right, Edmund's game. No, no, nothing of value being added to the world by this iteration of the game. Fun fact, some freak who watches me thinks I'm a secret Nazi because of my Hulk Hogan emote that is HH. Oh, is 88 also uh, Dale Jr.? Dakota, tier 113 months, a gifted sub from Champion 7B. Dakota, happy, happy to have you back. Champion, wherever he is, knows how grateful I am for his contributions. Yeah, Justin, when I look at you, there is a part of me that, like, I, I have a hard time in my head, like... I'm constantly rehearsing the apologies I have to make to people when it comes out that you are a secret Nazi. It's, you know... You peel a banana, you can't be surprised when it's like, Oh, it looks like a banana on the outside. Must be a banana on the inside. Oh, it's a banana. Super white and tastes funny. <laughs> I just, I look at Justin and I go, Clearly, that's a person who thinks he and I specifically are the pinnacle of human evolution. <laughs> that's a... Uh, you, you let him go to the trainer one year, and the next thing you know is he's all like, well, clearly it doesn't get better than this. And I'm like, I agree. Oh, shit on me. That's funny. Secret Nazi is like werewolf, but less fun. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Humanity, am I right? Ugh. I genuinely almost never have to interact with conservatives, but liberal liberals freak out on me regularly. It's a cool life. I've been very lucky to have dodged, like, so. So my my take is this: is that like two of the two of the worst things in the world to deal with for me, and I don't have to deal with either one of them often. is like casual conservatives and rabid liberals. Rabid liberals are, are one of the worst, like, like one of the, just, just some of the fucking worst. Rabid liberals are such a fucking nightmare to deal with. And for me, they're almost as frustrating as, as like hyper passive conservatives. That'll, that'll, that will vote some real egregious shit into office and be like, I feel really bad that 75, 80% of their campaign is holding other people down, but I just, I just love my guns. I'm a fiscal conservative. <laughs> you know, I just love fiscally conservative politics. I just, uh, you know, I gotta vote my conscience. I'm really sorry about the fact that uh, these other people's lives are gonna be made worse. But I just, uh, you know, I heard tax cut and I like that. <laughs> the older I yeah, the older I get, the more I watch Castaway as a horror movie where Tom Tom Hanks clearly has some sort of mental illness that convinces him that he needs to get off his deserted island and come back to humanity. It's like the Babadook. It's it's a meta it's a metaphor for mental illness. Where you're just like, Tom, what are you doing? He's like, I gotta get off this island. And if you're there, you'd be grabbing Tom by the waist going, no, you don't understand. Bottomless seafood, all the coconut you can eat. You, we don't have to wipe after we shit. We can just walk out into the ocean and let the salt water wash it away. We got a bidet that takes up 60% of the planet's surface. And I don't know about you, but Wilson's the suavest motherfucker I've ever met. I can listen to that guy talk forever. And you want to leave this all behind, Tom? Why? <laughs> Make me understand what's going on inside your Where brain. Where are you going? Wait! We uh. need you! Your son needs you! I'm doing more harm than good. I just can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. Please, please don't leave us! 
feel like Edmund was so proud of this dialogue that when you take the music out of the game, he won't let you take out this dialogue. But when you take the music out of the game, it takes all the old dialogue out of the cinematics. I mean, and, and out of the new cinematics too, but like, you know, I'd love to have the dialogue back in the cinematics. At that point, I'm done with the game and I'm taking a little, a little breather, a little hiatus. But there's no way to get all this to go away. Just domestic, domestic squabble. Domestic to squabble at 95% volume, no, no matter what your volume set at. It's loud as fuck. This is the story. The Daily Soul Crush feel like you're Denizen fighting the bad the people and fighting the people going, I don't know who the bad people are. Yeah, I mean, you know, Smile Girl, like I, you know, like I said, it's, uh, I may have problems with both sides, but I know I went down ballot when I went to the, uh, when I went to the polls yesterday, so. It, it, it breaks my heart to be like, I know, I know who the preferred lesser of two evils is for me. But it's fucking exhausting to just keep feeling like you have to pick evil. Over and over and over again. Rusty Brazenfire gifts a tier one sub to Wilson the Ball. Oh, fucking, if only that guy would come visit me. Forget Jacksepticeye. When do I get Wilson to come say, to, to come hang out? Star sorry for the doom? Dude, no, that, that, that's, been, that's been this morning. The moment I sat down, it, it wasn't like, hey, Taffy, why did your state shit the bed? But everybody was like, hey, Taffy, you're in that state. Can you help us make sense of why your state shit the bed? And I was like, oh, not really. I mean, kind of. I can tell. I can tell you what I think happened based on being boots on the ground. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah. Honestly, that I mean, that's a big part of it. You're absolutely right, Justin. So, like, Amber was listening to some analysis that basically said, uh, you know, McAuliffe was begging Biden to come up with any sort of win, but the Democrats are so fucking inept that they managed to produce nothing in a year except for a shitty exit from Afghanistan and low polling numbers. And I was saying earlier that Americans will Americans will vote for terrible people who get stuff done over placeholder individuals who don't do anything. Um And then on top of that, you know, Yunkin tapped into like the real rural white person fears and he really ran with it where he's like I'll make your groceries cost a little bit less also did you know if you vote for Democrats they're gonna take away your vote on what your kids get taught and it's all just gonna be critical race theory they're gonna get rid of recess they're gonna get rid of music they're gonna get rid of football which is the most important subject in school they're gonna replace it with soccer and critical race theory and you're gonna be you're gonna be shot by the FBI if you say boo about it and so high school educated white women out in the suburbs were just like, oh no, not soccer and critical race theory. <laughs> I'll murder suicide my family before I let them suffer through soccer. And so apparently that's, that's the overwhelming majority. Yeah, like, yeah, it turns out like once Trump's not in office anymore, Running against Trump when he's not in office anymore is like running against Hillary and her fucking emails, you know? Turns out that once you don't have the boogeyman to run against anymore, you gotta start actually producing. And you gotta start talking about what you stand for and not just what you aren't. And man, do the fucking Democrats suck at that. They suck at getting shit done, man. Yeah, it didn't work for Hillary, but maybe it'll work this time. Oh, that guy's so bad. You're like, well. Unfortunately, that'll work for that'll work for the GOP. Soccer and critical race theory, and they'll want to change over to metric. All that all that commie bullshit. That works for them. They'll galvanize behind that. But if you pride yourself on being the critical thinking party and then you don't do anything and then you go, hey, do me a huge favor, 
don't think critically about the fact that we've accomplished nothing in our first year. Just, just keep just keep voting based on the fact that we're not the other guy who's like the boogeyman. And after a little while, like they, they get surprised Pikachu face when it stops working. Yeah, centrist Dems are choking on the stunted greenish remains of Trump, Trump's dick. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what happens with weed. There's a part of me that's glad I'm not trying to grow plants yet. Yeah, glitch. Uh, the metric thing is one of those things like bef before COVID. Metric seemed like the simplest thing on the planet to adopt. Like, this seemed like the simplest thing on the planet to agree on. And the fact that we never got behind metric was like, makes me not surprised that COVID was a divisive thing. Don't let me forget I should probably order food after this. I have no idea what I'm ordering. I kind of don't want something super heavy. I've kind of, I, I feel like what I'm eating recently has not contributed to my, what I've been eating recently has not been helping me sort of like feel optimal. We, we use freedom units here, you communist. I would do panda, like honestly I'd do panda, I don't feel too heavy after panda, um, but I, I did uh, I did Chinese food last night, I did Chinese leftovers last night for dinner, honestly you're not right, I mean you're not wrong Vicky, it's so funny that like, people who run as liberals in the United States would be like center, center right in other countries. It's so frustrating to have any sense of, like, scope or reference when you're looking at this country. It's so, it's so frustrating to have any sort of frame of reference. Ugh. So much wasted potential, and I don't know that it's ever going to realize its potential. Italian sub, what's funny is I accidentally had something comparable to that. I'm sorry it's so loud. I'll turn it down a little. I had something comparable to that the other day. I was trying to get a Mufaletta. I found a deli that said it would do a Mufaletta, and I was like, damn, I haven't had a Mufaletta in forever. So I ordered it. It had some Mufaletta flavors in it, but it was a, it was essentially an Italian hoagie with some sort of like olive spread that was not quite a Mufaletta tapenade. It was it, it tasted good, but it did not it wasn't the right bread. Uh, it wasn't the right bread, and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't the right olive tapenade that's, that makes up a, a mufaletta. It was still pretty good, but it was not at all what I wanted it to be. It was still pretty tasty. I, I ate the whole thing. I, I don't, like, I, I'll, pho sounds good, but it sounds like too much work for stream. Soup always sounds like way too much work for stream. Unless I can just get it in a cup. Honestly, <laughs> this is gonna be really funny. I had bulgogi last night too. <coughs> oh shit, we didn't have enough Chinese food for everyone to have leftovers. So we heated up the leftover Chinese and then Amber supplemented it with bulgogi and pot stickers. So I had not quite a serving of bulgogi and not quite a serving of leftover Chinese food. Bonchon, maybe. Bonchon's really good. It's expensive as nuts. It's one of those things that even with somebody else's money, I feel kind of guilty spending as much money as Bonchon costs. Maybe I get like a Poke Bowl. Maybe I get like Domoishi. Poke Bowl might be the winner. Someday.